Rwanda um, endured uh, in 1994 a, a genocide here uh, that uh, where uh, one million people were murdered in 100 days and that left a million orphans in the country as well and since 1994 um, the Rwandans have been doing an amazing job rebuilding their country however you can only imagine the traumas that everyone in this in this country has faced uh, this is the memorial time when the country uh, memorializes each year what happened 17 years ago. And even though the trauma occurred 17 years ago, it's very real and alive for the people of this country. When we work with these young people, we, we see a lot of different traumas. Everything from the everyday tragedy of poverty, uh, of hunger, uh, of having intrusive memories, of the grief of losing their families and their, and their parents, uh, hopelessness about their futures, uh, survivor's guilt, uh, and any number of traumas. What Project Light stands for is heart-centered leadership will inspire global healing and transformation. In this program, we are using tapping for every aspect of our training. And it's a train-the-trainer model. So these young people will be prepared to train tens of hundreds of other young people in these techniques. We have 12 Project Light ambassadors. These are our first trainees in the program. These are young people that we have worked with at the Romero Mabogo Orphanage, which houses 500 teenage genocide survivors. Once these young people graduate from this high school, they really don't have much hope for a future because they cannot continue their education, they don't have job skills, um, and so what Project Light is doing is creating a new form of humanitarian aid, and we are, want to establish the world's first international youth healing leadership and entrepreneurship program based on energy psychology and tapping. We have created a four-week residential program for 12 of our first pilot program trainees. So they're learning to heal, they're learning to work, and they're learning to lead us into a peaceful future. So in the short term, we need to support these first graduates and in the long term, we want to be back here in September to run the year-long program. After a year's time, we will have, be able to document it. The program will be sustainable. We will be able to turn the program over to our Rwandan partners. And then we'll be able to replicate it in places around the world. We have already had communications with people in Kenya, South Africa, Australia, India. We know the power of tapping, so we need people to spread the word. Uh, we need to people help us uh, raise money, and we need to uh, keep our hearts aligned so that together uh, we can create this vision and create global healing through the power of tapping. Imagine the difference we can make together. As we join our hands, working together as one. Imagine the difference we can make together. As we join our hands, working together as one. Bring your idea, bring my idea, and we join our skills. Working together as one to transform my world. Imagine the difference.